Uh, hey guys, uh, Lion Maker here. Now, I wasn't planning on doing another story this week, so uh, I found a cringe video to react to, but I guess I'll just wait until next time. Because something happened to me, and uh, in order to keep this uh, this really not 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 flawed at all system that I got going on of, uh, you know, uh, a, a rant video, then a story, then two reaction videos, uh, I gotta keep this going. So uh, something happened to me not too long ago, I don't know, like um, a month ago, a April, April this happened, and uh, it was fucking scary, alright? So... You hear about those Craigslist stories all the time where people try to buy stuff and, and, and go to the house and end up getting raped and fucking murdered or some shit. But uh, a similar thing actually happened to me. So I was on an Australian website called Gumtree, all right, where you can basically search for an item you want and uh, heaps of them come up near your area. Uh, uh, and you email the seller and arrange to meet up and look at the product. And if it's good enough for you, then you can you can buy it, all right? Now... I play the drums, so uh, I was I was looking I was on Gumtree looking for some cheap secondhand symbols, all right, and some stands uh, for for the for the symbols to go on. Now I came across this dude, who I'll I'll keep anonymous, but uh, basically he was selling these symbols at a relatively low price. So I emailed him back and forth, and uh, this was basically our conversation. And yes, I'm going to be blurring out the uh, the personal information because well. I'm not a fucking idiot, right? And I'm, you know, just like his address and, and stuff like that. Now, this is basically it. So, uh, so, so me. Uh, me, me. Have you still got the symbols for sale? If so, would you be available tomorrow for me to look at them? Thanks. Alright, you know, that's a pretty, pretty good, good way to start a convo, I'd say. It's pretty... Pretty genetic, pretty uh, pretty pretty professional, you know. Emails, you gotta be professional, all right. So uh, then uh, then him he he comes back. So I don't know. We'll, for the sake of the story, we'll call him fucking Steve, right? So Steve, hey mate. Yep. Can you do about eleven a.m. to Moz? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but to Moz just pains me. It's especially in an email. It's it's really unprofessional, and oh, dude, his use of not capitalizing the friggin' ah, oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I was no better, but it was it pained me. It pained me. So I come back saying, uh, "Yes, eleven should be fine. Whereabouts?" Now I said whereabouts because it seems less creepy than just being straightforward and asking for an address. So uh, yeah, a side note there. Oh uh, yeah, sent from my iPhone. Then, uh, Steve says, uh, no probs, I'm at, you know, and then he puts in the address, uh, and then he gives a phone number, if you need to contact me, dot dot, see ya at about 11. So, as you can already tell, I'm trying to be quite literate with my emails, and this guy's just taking the easy route, as if he's fucking texting, alright? Now, at this point, I told my mum, alright? Uh, about this this dude, not nothing bad, just that I was planning on going to get some similar right? and uh, and she said that we should go later at about one. So I emailed Steve back saying, uh, any chance we could make it a bit later, around one. Sent from my iPhone. Then he uh he comes back and says, yep, one p.m. is fine. Dot dot. See you then. Once again with the fucking ellipses, dude. Making it so creepy. It's so creepy when you do that. It just instantly creepifies the whole situation, alright? Then, uh, you know, after I thought, alright, good, we have decided on 1pm, I get another email from Steve. Can you buzz me back confirming 1pm today plus... Oh, I didn't... I didn't want that. I didn't want that, alright? So, uh... So basically, now, I knew that when he said buzz me back, he was expecting a phone call, alright? Uh, but, you know, I wanted to stay anonymous and, you know, fucking be a sick cunt, so I emailed him back saying, Yep, 100%! That's <laughs> That's it, just, just fucking 100%! <laughs> Sent from my iPhone. And then, lastly, him... Cool. Dot dot. See you then. <laughs> Fuck! 
I mean, it's nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this, all right? It's just some creepy fucking dot dots and weird text talk over an email. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good. No complaints. Anyway, so uh, it comes It comes to 1 p.m. that day. I don't know. This is like April 10th, I guess. Uh, and we rock up to his house. Legitimately the sort of house in a horror film where you'd get murdered, all right? Just overgrown trees out the front. Fucking broken brick fence. And, and we rock up to his house. Uh, and it was just extremely concerning. But, but hey, I wanted those symbols. Uh, so, you know, we slowly walk up to his front door. And our, our window to the right of his door... Uh, you know, uh, has, it has, it had lots of pots from the inside, like, behind the, it was in between the curtain and the window, there were just pots, and, like, plants, and, and, there was a fucking Mexican flag, which, I, I don't know what was going on, but, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be the one to question the man himself, alright? Now, his door has, has two doors, as in, as in the fly screen door, and then the actual wooden door, now, the wooden door on the inside was open, just just, just a crack, just a crack, just the slightest bit open, and the fly screen was closed, alright? Uh, so we knock onto the fly screen door, because, you know, he didn't have a bell, and we hear a voice on the inside saying, Come in! So, obviously we got fucking scared, alright? No one says come in, into their house, if they aren't downstairs planning to murder you, right? Like, that's a fact, alright? Now, I don't know, we open the door, and, uh... Inside is literally pitch black, alright? The only light is the light from the door that we just opened and the, the TV that has fucking cartoons on it, right? This man-child literally lives in a cage. Uh, he had fucking worn-down clothes and, like, a hella sexy long beard, I'm not gonna lie, and, like, long, greasy hair. You know, a very attractive, well-looked-after man, no complaints. So right as you open the door, there's a cupboard to the left of it uh, and it had, on the door handle of the cupboard was, I kid you not, a baby doll attached to a dream catcher, alright? And the dream catcher was in the shape of that fucking satanic star thing. What, what the fuck is this guy? What the actual fuck? Next thing you know, this, this shit's on fucking drama alert, dude. <laughs> Thankfully, that was the weirdest thing that happened, uh, Obviously, I didn't die, which is always good. But hey, we got the symbols at actually a cheaper price than he advertised, so that was good. But yeah, uh, that's all I got for this video, so stay tuned for next week. Uh, please subscribe to get a, a weekly dose of cancer, and uh, and like this vid for a free uh, fucking uh, $36 trillion, alright, within two business days. Uh, no money back guarantee, but why would you need one when it's 100% truth, no scam? <laughs>